Yo, 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 what's good, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Tyrants Bane. Welcome to the definition of anarchy, okay? Now, look, I did a video yesterday. Well, I uploaded it this morning in regards to HR 1477 and HR 1454. But I want to touch on a little bit more specifically HR 1454, okay? Where they want to consider assembly kits to be firearms i want you guys to think about what they're doing here okay what they're doing is they want to call something something that it's not in order to pass in order to make that thing as restricted as the thing that they want to call it does that make sense so that's like saying look okay so they want to call assembly kits a firearm right assembly kits now what what that would include i have no idea there's no verbiage in this bill yet right now it could include a trigger a trigger a trigger kit right because it's not just a trigger it has a, a trigger assembly right uh, a buffer spring a stock these things they want to call each of those things on its own a firearm do you understand meaning <laughs> like okay so in order in in, in reality in order for something to be a firearm, you have to be able to put a bullet into it or a projectile and fire it and have it come out in in, 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 in fire, right? Can you put a bullet in the trigger on its own? No, you cannot. Can you put a bullet in the stock? You can put a bullet in the stock, but you're not going to be able to fire that sucker. Hence the word firearm. You cannot fire from a trigger on its own. You cannot fire from a barrel shroud on its own. You cannot fire from a, uh, an upper receiver without the entire uh, firearm assembled. They are making shit up. Do you understand? They're making shit up so that they can restrict it, so that you cannot be a grown-ass man or woman and build a firearm on your own without registering it. It's none of their business what you have. It's none of their business what you own. It's none of their business what you might go out and use in the competition. It's none of their business what you might hunt with. It's, nothing, it's none of their business what you might defend your home and your family and yourself with. It's none of their business. But they want to make it their business. Let me, let, let, let me put it to you like this. This is a perfect analogy. Right here. Saying... <clears throat> that an assembly kit is a firearm so that you can place restrictions on it so that you can have it force it to be registered so that you can you know uh, force people to get a license for it right Say, what they what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it more difficult for you to to own and operate a firearm point blank and period and what does the second amendment say shall not be infringed your right to keep and bear arms, not just firearms, by the way, arms, right, shall not be infringed. Okay, so that mean that means anything that you can use as a weapon to defend yourself or to protect your country or protect your freedom, whatever the case may be. Okay, now saying that an assembly kit, like a trigger, a trigger assembly. Or, uh, a, a, or, or a bolt assembly. Remember, because remember, a bolt has, you know, a bolt carrier. It has the firing pin. It has so it has it has a number of things in, within it that make it an assembly kit. Okay, saying that those things are firearms on their on their own is like saying a tire for a car is a car. Like saying a mirror, a side view mirror for a car is a car. Like saying. The hood of a car is a car. You understand know what I'm saying? Like saying the steering wheel of the car is a car. So if you want to go and buy a tire, your tires blew out. You want to go buy a tire, you got to go to the DMV and register that sucker and pay registration fees every year. You got to renew your registration. You got to put tags on it. You got to put tags on your tire. You got to put tags on the hood, right? Do, do, do y'all see where this is going? Do you see what I'm what I'm doing here? I'm going to make tires, hoods, wheels, 
all that, all those things are going to be cars, vehicles, and you have to register them and all that. You have to register your wheel. You have to register your tailpipe. You have to register your hood. You you know, your car is, hey, hey, it is what it is. Your car is, uh, your car broke down. You got to take it to the, to the mechanic. Well, you got to present the mechanic. The mechanic, he ain't going to be able to work on your car until you get that sucker registered. Or you ain't going to be able to drive out that sucker with your new tire without registering that tire. Paying registration fees for that tire. Man, let me tell y'all something, man. It's a bunch of nonsense. They know damn well that an assembly kit is not a firearm. They know damn well a trigger assembly is not a firearm. They know damn well a bear shroud on its own is not a firearm. They're parts of a firearm. You can use them to create a firearm. Together, you need a number of components to make it a firearm. You know, you can make a... You can make a firearm out of household items. You don't need it. You don't need to buy shit from, you know what I'm saying? As someone with the ingenuity, you can make, shout out to Anarchy, by the way, Anarchy TV. You can make a firearm out of household items. You can buy a firearm on the streets. And you ain't got to worry about registering shit. This is not, again, this is not about your safety. Okay. This is not about keeping the people safe. This is about keeping you controlled. This is about controlling what you are and aren't, aren't able to buy, what you are and aren't able to use to defend yourself. Against who? Against the tyrant. That's why they're so concerned about it. That's why they're so, uh, they, that's why they go so hard with gun control. You understand? I know, it sounds paranoid, right? I'm a conspiracy theorist, but when they do things like try to make uh, firearm parts an actual firearm on their own, then that, that should let you know what's really going on in their mind, right? They're desperate. They're desperate. They're desperate for you not to be able to do anything that they don't want you to do. Simple as that. Anyway, I got to get out here and uh, I'm at the track right now. About to get me some wind sprints in, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of jump roping, some shadow boxing and uh, yeah, you know how I do. I get it in. Much love, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Or do you guys actually consider firearm parts on their own firearms to where now you have to get a background check to where you have to register it. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a bunch of nonsense. It's a bunch of nonsense. Okay. All right. I just, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. You understand? Sorry. Much love you guys. I might be doing a live a little bit later today, a little bit later this morning on my way to the farmer's market. We'll see, you know. And uh, yeah, I'll at y'all later. Peace.